Hello and welcome everyone to Cybercast episode 181, the Transform and Action Figure Podcast show. My name is Josh also known as Stupid Hextron, and I am joined with my co-host here. Uh, a couple of guys are not going to be able to make it. I don't know if Dakota's going to show up or not, but uh, anyways, uh, Mike, you want to tell people where they can find you? Uh, also, you want to tell them a little bit about your convention that you're doing as well? <laughs> yeah, um, you can find me on a Twitter as Bacon Thing in 1978. And uh, three weekends from today, we'll be doing uh, Little Rock Comic Con. Um, it's an annual event that I put on. Been doing it for uh, nine years now. Um, you can find all the information on um, Facebook uh, underneath Little Rock Comic Con or lrcomiccon.com. All right. And uh, Rick, where can people find you, man? Uh, you can find me on Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. All right, and you can find me, uh, G1Hextron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook pages, the G1Hextron. So uh, we're going to start off with a collection spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at David Lynchines. Um, I do have one set up for the next show, but after that, if you want to go ahead and start sending in your uh, you know, pictures of your collection, you can send those to an email at G1Hextron at gmail.com. Uh, just make sure that it, you, know, you actually put the – photos in there that way i can just kind of click to through them uh i know uh someone that we're looking at you know t next time they sent me a zip drive and i would have to download the picture so i just i don't prefer doing that uh but go ahead and send those to me tell me what you want to be referred to as uh just however many pictures your collection really demands if it's a smaller collection you'll take fewer pictures if it's a huge collection you'll take more pictures so uh anyways we're going to go ahead and start and uh Take a look at uh, David Lindshine's collection. I didn't even test everything to see if it's uh, it's good. Uh, you, I guess everything's coming across. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, some monster art stuff. We're going to be taking a look at some different Godzilla stuff later on. Oh, look. He's got little buildings and i didn't know they came with that that's cool tanks yeah really puts it into scale some gundams i've got the, i've got this one right here i like him Oh man, that one's tight right there. I, th I think I have this one. I think this is a larger. Uh, that might be a maybe a metal scale one, but I've, I've got one of him. Okay. And got some Voltron, some Zoids. Promo, where you at? Probably working. Amazing girl. Some more, some more Gundams. <coughs> oh, I got the little Eva collection there. That's cool. Is this panel lined? The star screen? I've got the Hasbro and I've got the Takara one. And for some reason, this one looks like it's panel lined. It does. Yeah. So maybe, maybe a little custom on it. I see uh, Utopia in the background. Yeah, so a couple of these guys. Well, he went all in. He loves his big bots. So he's got a, I think this is a rifle case right here. Safe, looks like. <clears throat> well, I got the Takara and got the party in there. Which one is that? That's the Mastermind Creations one, right? Or the Ocular Max, whatever yeah. they call it. <clears throat> I 
See, that looks like the fans project. And that's the uh, unique toys version, I believe. That was part of the three pack, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and let's see, one more set of pictures. I can get this to scroll down here. More third party stuff. You got some official there in the back. Rick, I remember every time now I look at this guy, I think of our conversation about MP9 or MP09. What's the little thing Mirage is on? It makes it look like a trophy, you know, like an Indy 500 trophy. Yeah, it must be one of those posable things, but it looks a lot thicker, so it looks nicer. <clears throat> the last set of pictures had one as well. I think it had the uh, tracks, black tracks on it. You know what's up? Look in the back there. He knows what is up. Look at that Carnifex. I like this guy. <laughs> What's up, Cameron Duke Starscream? Selfish. Oh, that's uh, the Warbatron one. I saw he had that that one swindle. <laughs> Well, that's the uh, the make toys. Which one is this here? This is the generation toy, I think. Yeah, I just have giant. I don't know about the others. All right, so thanks a lot for sending in your collection, man. Definitely appreciate it. So if you guys are interested in doing that as well, uh, again, you can send it to uh, g one hextron at gmail.com. All right, uh, starting off with uh, <clears throat> some little bitty guys here. Oh, come on. You, you can pull up. Yeah, so uh, these guys, the uh, I really painted that well. Uh, you can see didn't even paint the windows on some, and some they kind of halfway did it. What the hell is this? There's you some beast right there, Dakota. I, th I think it's the... Uh, you know, because they stopped doing bot shots. Yeah, they kind of look like that. I, I think this is kind of like to kind of take that, uh, you know, that place to where maybe they can sell a few of these. And this is I, from Hasbro? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, give it six months. It'll be at a Ross store soon. Yeah, or in a Burger King Happy Meal. <laughs> That's what they look like. They look like little Happy Meal toys. They, that is... That is horrible looking. I mean, man, <laughs> that is just sad. Yeah, nobody buy these, please. Man, go ahead and put my dumpster fire picture up there right beside it. <laughs> these are uh, the uh, tiny turbo chargers. Oh, that's what those – okay, I've seen those in the store now. I, I didn't know that's what was inside the packages. All right, get your uh, in-hand images of – Dalton's favorite squeaks. I'm sorry. I've just, I'm, it is just too tough for me to get behind anything TF5 toy related besides Megatron. This other stuff is just horrendous. Although it, would, it might look cool on a shelf if you put some of those little kiss play girls in front of the little Vespa, <laughs> you know? <laughs> They're all floating around it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I oh, just, what's this? Did he already break it? <laughs> already break it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I, oh, he's just holding up an arm. It looks like it's just an arm. Yeah, this, I don't know, man. The big gun. Like you get you get his little battle platform and stuff. This is basically he's basically setting up to be the next Optimus Prime, you know. So <laughs> that's right. the mini roller. <laughs> yeah, 
he's the hot rod of the movie. He's going to get the Matrix. Oh God. Oh, God. He's going to call. You know what? I hope eye. he. I hope he does. Oh my God. Because <laughs> then Michael Bay said that this is the last uh, Transformer film that he's going to like direct and stuff like that. I, I, I just hope that he just goes out and like makes this guy the next Prime. <laughs> Oh my god. If that happens, I will sell my whole collection and be done with Transformers. <laughs> Just the movie. I, th- I think it yeah, I think it'd be hilarious though. All right, so uh what? No. Oh. Uh we got the uh barricade, the Hasbro version, we got the Car, I look at the car a little bit later here, but it's a lot different, doesn't he, from the first movies? Oh, god, yeah. yes, he's yeah, tremendously he different. I mean, let's be honest, how many times have they actually killed this guy off and brought him back? Every once in a while, I'll be watching one of those movies and like I'll see like him in the background, and I'm like, yeah. it's like the same, it's the same, you know, same model. Yeah, I mean, they killed him in, uh, what was it, like, was it Dark of the Moon? No, or one Did they get every, like every movie? Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, he's got more lives than Bumblebee does. What, Megatron? Yeah. And I mean, Barricade. God, man. I, the bad. whole thing, though, is if you can just keep on killing these characters off and you can bring them back for the next movie, then, like, why do the Transformers even really care if they get killed? Like, you know what? You can just bring me back. Yeah, except for jazz. They, they should have yeah. uh, not bring it back. Yeah. Jazz. Though. What happened to jazz? They pooped on him and then they left him for dead. Uh, Whatever, I, Michael I, Bay. I think it's because Michael Bay is racist. Uh, I, absolutely, Michael <laughs> Bay. Michael I, I Bay. Always, I always look at jazz as and blaster as kind of you know the the black characters for Transformers. I know there's like not races or. Yeah. I guess there is racism in there, but like not like what we have as humans. Or there's not, you know, there's really shit, really not gender types, but there are, you know. They just made it identifiable for us. But uh, I just always kind of look at, you know, the mannerisms and stuff like that. Yeah, if they're not young, blonde, and big busted, he don't care. He likes his young women. God, they keep on getting. We talked about that (laughs) once, Overcast. They just keep on getting younger and younger. (laughs) Yeah. We'll keeps on putting them, but he keeps on putting them in skimpy outfits, which I'm just like, this is <laughs> weird. It is a little weird. Oh, man. I, and it looked like from, from uh, you know, looking at a lot of the Bayformer figures from this line, it looks like a lot of them have the kind of roof back window just kind of like setting in the back there. They're they're kind of like Beast War figures. They're just shell formers. Oh, Ooh. don't go there. I'm going to have to stick up for Dakota tonight since he's not here. Come on, Josh. He, he's, he's in the chat. Yeah, give him a minute. He'll say something. <laughs> so uh, where, where's the car on this thing? Yeah, oh, there we go. Am I the only one that prefers him just black, like the way the first movie had him? Oh, I agree with you. He looked better. Yeah. Better. I don't. I mean, let's be honest. He's, we're getting a toy of him. Have we actually seen any footage of him in the movie yet? Mm-mm. I yeah, think. because just because you get a toy him doesn't mean that he's actually going to be in the movie. We know that. All right. I mean, come on. I mean, out of the first wave, they put stuff out. Barricade is like the only decent thing out of it. The rest, I mean, it's just garbage. Right. <coughs> now, I look at this guy's uh, face. Why, why does it have all this blue on it? Seems like it should have a lot more silver the way that he looks in the film, you know? Yeah, on the cheekbones. That's an odd colored looking shield, too. Classic Beast Beast War stuff. (laughs) Uh, I know... uh, 
one of my favorite YouTubers that he's extremely excited about this though. Oh God. Is it our favorite time we yeah. talk about? Oh my God. Yeah, I love him, man. Did you watch the, the car video? Which video? Uh, it's titled Takara. I might have seen that one. I, I've just, I've lost, I think I lose brain cells every time I watch some YouTube videos. Oh, it's, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, sub, I've subscribed to, to uh, the doctor as well. Yeah, I did too, but man, I'm going decision on <laughs> that one. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give my boy a shout out here. No, no, no. Uh, okay. Never be a shout out. This this is my favorite YouTube reviewer. Uh, it just he does these vlogs and stuff, which is kind of catered around Transformers and stuff. I absolutely love this guy. Uh, go check him out. Subscribe to him, Doctor Prime. It, you, it's actually Doctor spelled out D O C T O R <laughs> space P R I M E. Uh, dude, legendary. Oh. I love it. I, I've, you, kept, I've you, kept them a secret. I've kept them my secret for like a couple <laughs> years now. And me and Dakota, we're, we're in there during like single digit subscriber numbers and kind of kept them to ourselves. But I, I will share with the world. Yeah, if y'all need a, a refresher on how to uh, morph in Power Rangers, that's your guy right there. <laughs> I like his passion. I love the rants. My, the rants are what I, I tune into. I don't really watch reviews, but I watch it. I love the rants. The rants, there. I only watched one all the way through, and it was something else. Uh, I, I don't like the, getting back on the the figures here. I don't like the silver again. Hasbro went all cheap here. Well, it's not even silver. That's just gray plastic. Why couldn't they chrome out? They chrome. Hold on a second. Didn't they chrome out plastic? Yeah. What is it? I mean, yeah. I, even, I tweeted. Like, I tweeted yeah, my rule yeah. of thumb for these movie figures this week, and I will continue to stand by that. If I buy one, somebody just come and smack me. Uh, and that is, if you don't paint the rims, I'm not going to spend the money. No rim paint, and they went from they actually the last movie, do it. they did chrome on the on the silver. They did chrome, but they went to gray plastic, and still no painted rims. Yeah, they're all black. The tire and the wheel is all black, and it's not supposed to be all black. That's I can't buy that. Right. The, as soon as I saw this, I was like, "Dude, that hound for Dakota!" Like he's <laughs> even got like the little bullet cigar. Dakota, you see this little guy? He's got the beard. Yeah, like, multicolored beard, and like he's got those beads in it and stuff like that. I guess is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah, Rick. I was just looking real quick at my my prom from last last movie. They actually yeah. painted they painted the wheels on that one and gave us chrome. It's yeah. like they I, went back. They went back a whole stage. Is what they did this time. Yeah. So, all right. Well, this is officially licensed, but it is Soap Studios. No, it's not an actual bar soap. That's just what they call themselves, and it's kind of like a. I don't know, kind of like a statue. I guess maybe out of plastic. <laughs> and this thing's pretty big too, because uh, you're gonna see uh, a human in the background. In the, I think. Would you buy an articulated statue made out of plastic? Nope. Yeah. It's big, too. I thought there was a human somewhere in here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah. He's <laughs> obviously sitting on, a, like, a table or something, but still, that's a pretty – you can kind of get an idea, unless he's, like, just extremely short, but uh, you can kind of get an idea that, you know, it is a tall figure. And I think Prime One Studio stuff is next. Oh yeah, you can uh, you can tell it's on. All right. Cool. Superior Optimus Prime. I kind of got a glimpse of him. Uh, I think last Cybercast. Now you can see a little bit more pictures. Officially licensed. 
Look at all that. I again, you you don't really know what's special effects, and you can see you can see the uh, metal on. Oh, there's some yeah. rust and stuff like that. It looks really good. <clears throat> it was a G1 color move. <clears throat> Wish I could see what's going on, but I'm blinded by that huge lens flare right there. <clears throat> it was quite large. Yeah, so it looks like his lights light up. Maybe his gun. Probably all that I would guess at this moment. Maybe the bottoms of this stuff light up. Did you got the uh, gold version of this Megatron here? Yeah, I've seen that. Is this just to, uh, re you know, remember the episode of the Golden Lagoon, or is there something special about Golden Megatron that I'm just totally missing? Yeah, uh, they did a cool. masterpiece gold one. I guess they were trying to keep up with the what they were doing. Yeah, but I don't think they made a gold G1 Megatron. I'm almost positive they didn't. It's like a lucky draw. I guess. Sort of. Yeah, Alpha Tron pretty pretty much in the audience. They're just trying to make more money off this mold. So <clears throat> All you gotta do is paint a different color, and you tell make it limited. People like Promo Sabbath will buy it up. You can paint it brown and turquoise, and just you know, just ugly color combinations. But say like it's limited to ten, and then Promo Sabbath would find some way to add it to his collection <laughs> if it was a if it was a Beast War figure or something. You, know? you you got just gotta stick him in like a Beast Wars pro story on the club uh, forum, and he's down. All right, I believe this is the Megatron. Yeah, so. <coughs> now there's, there's the car. Which Megatron is that? Looks like a. I ain't know where. It's got a bunch of treads hanging off the back of him. Probably Revenge of the Fallen between him as a tank. All right, one more statue. Uh, let me see who does this. Uh, XM Studios. Uh, we took uh, like one uh, look at one of the photos, I think. Dakota. Oh, the little snowflake is triggered. Dakota, the club's not dead. We both got Pretender, Megatron, and Optimus. Sort of dead, but almost dead. You like this one? I'm not as into this one. I don't know if it's the face or whatever, but it, uh, the aesthetic looks a little bit more G1 than you know the other one that's obviously more Bayformish. Yeah. All right. I think we're on to uh, Takara. Yeah, so, uh, okay. No, this was the, 
midnight releases at the Toys R Us Taiwan. Uh, so if you guys are interested in this, uh, these were like prizes for like people that spent like the most money and stuff like that. So uh, if you want these, and maybe you can find them online. Uh, but I believe these are not available to buy though. So you get this. Uh, oh, he's got he's got colored rims. Where's mine? How much money we got to spend? Damn. <laughs> I think Hot Toys needs to do that. Get a rewards program. That one looks sweet, dude. I would buy that. That I would buy that Prime in a heartbeat. Maybe that's the. Uh, I heard there was a battle damage Bumblebee. I guess that's it right there. Yeah. Now I, I, I bet that these things will eventually get some type of release. You know. It might be an exclusive somewhere, but uh, right now these were just prizes. So the only way you can really get them is if uh, you attended that event. Uh, also, you have the you know black silver version here, the Nemesis Prime uh, voice changer helmet. You know when I where was I? I think when we, were, when we went to Dallas, um, they have one of these on display, and I was actually able to look at it. And you know it's. Pretty much, I'm sad to say, man, more like a retail toy version, you know, that, you know, what we got a couple of years ago has a strap in the back for your head and everything. I mean, so I was, I was a little disappointed in that for the price tag it's on it. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure that those will eventually come up to, uh, to buy. All right, so uh, big news for Takara. Uh, we didn't like Silver Cup or Gray Cup, uh, but now they've updated and said that, okay, this is the colors that he's actually going to be. I'm more excited about it. Now I don't have to buy that Hasbro Cup at all. I'm just going to buy this one. Yeah, it does look better. I'm getting it just for the sheer fact it has a Target Master. You guys see the fan mode that people were doing with this where it turns into a mech? Yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> I was pretty impressed. <laughs> chat moderator kick prime selfish out of the chat room. <laughs> He's like, I am a chat moderator. <laughs> <clears throat> I like I like this one here. Yeah, I I I, th I think it's worth it uh, because then we have comparisons versus here. I never I guess I never noticed it on this one. Why is he doing the duck lips? You know, like the thing that like I guess sixteen year old girls do the duck lips, or I guess. <laughs> I like these colors much better. The nice target color. masters, the head, the shoulders on the Takara. Plus, he's missing that extra piece on the back of the shoulder. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, this one's this one's much better. Dude, look at that head. Uh, just the design of it, too. You know. Oh, he's got constipated lips. Something. He's got something going on. Got the old man Rick syndrome. Prune. Yeah, old man he's Rick. Got the, he's got his prune juice works, you know. Got to chase those uh, Vienna sausages with something. <laughs> <laughs> that, that cup, he, he just has uh, like crackers, it's hot it. cheese, it's potted meat, potted meat, and a plastic fork. <laughs> <laughs> He's living off a budget. So uh, all right, so these uh, Takara ones in package, so we kind of get a glimpse of what the uh, the robots are gonna look like. I mean, we're basically looking at what we got in the states, besides the Japanese sticker slapped on it. I mean, you know, usually in the past, Takara has been 
better with package design than the states have. So that's why I'm a little dis disappointed in this. I still think the packaging is way too similar to the TF4 packaging. Yeah. I, maybe they did that because some of that stuff is still in stores. That way, maybe they can just throw it up with that and people will just accidentally pick it up. You know? They trickle. <laughs> they think that they're getting some new uh, some new Transformers stuff. It was actually the stuff from the old movie. They, they got confused. That's probably what they're doing. All right, let's see what else we got here. I think that's the uh, barricade next. Yeah. All right, we looked at the Hasbro one. Now the Takara one. And they look very similar to me. I don't see a difference. Uh, they got this. Uh, this was kind of like a light gray plastic, the weapons were. I'm sorry, I can't pay a premium charges for a different color plastic weapon. Well, What's they, the price point, point anybody? Worse. What's the price point? I haven't bought any of the new movie stuff. What's the price point on on these? <clears throat> on the U.S., the deluxes are almost twenty bucks. They're no, twenty dollars. I, I didn't pull up the uh, Triptychon box art. I usually don't look at box art, but so I didn't. I didn't pull it up. I'm sorry. I Man, with the car, you know, the car they're usually you know ten, fifteen bucks higher than the states. But man, that's. <clears throat> here's, here's the uh, Takara Dark Optimus Prime. Oh, this is the one that Dr. Prime was like. He's <gasps> Takara! <sighs> oh, man, it was awesome. Was this like a nemesis thing? Well, he's still got blue and stuff. They just called it dark. It's dark with <laughs> blue. It's dark silver. See that one? There you go. Takara did it right. They used the chrome mm. grill. Yeah. Wheels. We well, see yep. the Dakota. We didn't need no dollar ninety nine Sharpie. Uh, so you're gonna get this one? Maybe you can put a you know an order for a case with Doctor Prime. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. So I guess not too bad. Uh, truck mode definitely looks better. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't they just go on and out and just paint the front of this blue? That must be some weird connection or something, or show somewhere else in robot mode they didn't like it, or they were lazy. We're gonna go with lazy for two hundred. Lazy for two hundred. All right. Here's the uh, Takar Black Convoy that uh, I think yeah. Lil D said he was excited about. Yeah, I'm excited about it, this he one. He said it too. works. Looks good. See, the funny thing about this mold that they've used so far was that they use it for regular Prime that I don't feel like it felt with it at all. But if they used it for G2 Prime in this yeah. mold, I yeah. felt like it worked. But, I mean, it's just the paint scheme, I guess, that changed my mind on it. I mean, yeah. And the stickers. I mean, it was so G2 yes, yeah. that – it was oh, like 110 percent. You know, he was all in. I yes. like it when they do that. When they're all in, and there's not, you can just tell this is their intent. And it's right. usually when it's their intent, we usually like it. Yeah. See, now I have not put my, I haven't even transformed mine into a plane mode at all. I don't care for plane mode, but the truck mode, robot mode, yeah. great. Yeah. Plane mode, not so much. Did you break Google? What's this? <clears throat> Oh, okay. Yep, this was just... All right. Okay, never mind. We won't talk about that. So, uh, any of you guys interested in this? Uh, I know Dalton said he's probably going to because he's got all this extra money now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get it. I'll get it. 
I, I'm not like it's not you know I'm not like oh my god I can't wait. Um, but I'll uh, yeah, it looks good. I think it we're, looks good. We're excited, but we're not as excited as Dalton was excited. <laughs> right. He's one of those car. Ro- he's like grew up on car robots, you know. So probably. Oh gosh, yeah. Right. The, yeah. I'm, assu- I'm we're, assuming. We're, we're we're too old, Rick. That's what the problem is. Yeah. He might say that's his G1, and then we got to jump oh, on no, him. We'll have to smack him a little bit. <clears throat> and someone wanted. Oh, well, this is a better picture, I guess. The uh, wanted to see the uh, Trypticon packaging mm-hmm. for Hasbro. I will be taking pre-orders on this here. When, when's this due out? Anybody see a date anywhere? I didn't I see have, the Hasbro one. I have not gotten even a pre-order date yet. Yeah. But huh. I me, mean, I would think San Diego's in June. I mean, I, if Henry I, hasn't shown us anything, we're going to get a San Diego version of this. Of some sort. I, I was assumed that would be the perfect time to release it. But, you know, we. I also said at, at some point, you know, if they don't have anything that has come really cool, they could have this release there, you know, for the first time. Oh, that would stink. Oh, well. Oh, you know, that's Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you got the uh, movie masterpiece on the right, and then you have the, uh, got, what is it, Dark of the Moon or something like that on the left, leader. Do you need to take that? No, that's what I'm using. All right. Sorry. All right. So uh, you can see the uh, flames are different here. So a little bit more detail in the flames. Uh, they also, it looks like they uh, changed up maybe the chest some. And then you can see the silver paint down here instead of just the gray plastic. Also, improvement on the face. Back pretty much looks the same, I think. Flames look better if you care about flames. Yeah, the one on the left it has a better one, but I actually like the one on the right. Do you think the one on the left has better flames? Well, hold on. Let me look this. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. I was looking at it wrong. Oh, okay, you're right. One on the left. Okay. <clears throat> the right. One on the right. These just look more detailed, and they have outlining and stuff like that. They're sharper to where these are just kind of, you know, bulky. So I know that a lot of people say that this is, like, one of the best uh, Optimus Primes from Bayformers. Uh, if you already got it, do you think it's worth picking up the movie Masterpiece? I, I guess if you're a Bayformer fan. Me, this is another one, Beast Wars. Bayformers, I'm going to stay out on Masterpiece figures. Yeah, I need to research and look at it more, but I, th- I felt like I got Buster Prime. And, I mean, if you had that, I, I don't know. I- I'll look at the pictures before I decide. But the- at first glance this week when I looked, when I saw it, I was just like, if you already have it, why would you buy that? Oh, the Masterpiece? Yeah. yeah, like, you yeah. know, like Takar, I think Takar's version was called Buster Prime, and it's it's the only movie figure I think I have up still. And it's, a, it's a nice looking figure. All right, getting into the third party. Uh, you guys remember Voodoo Robots? Uh, so um, they put this out to the fans. Uh, thank you for your support of Voodoo Robots, uh, but we can no longer get... Animus project complete uh, because of funds. Uh, cells of Salas were not very good, and because of unknown circumstances and da 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 da. So uh, that's pretty much it at this point for Voodoo Robots. So, but if you did uh, like, we're looking forward to getting the Animus figure. I don't even know which one that was. Uh, then you're not getting it. There you go. So have we seen the fall of the third party companies now? Well, we've seen a few fall, but yeah. is it a chain th- reaction? 
I uh, believe because Voodoo Robots, they were coming out. Their first one was they were coming out with the the vans, like for Ironhide Ratchet, and they were you know going to do the black one as well. Uh, and their problem was you're coming out with that while there was another company, third party company, doing those, and then when Takara did them beautifully at the same time, you know, it was like you're not going to win that competition. You're coming out with your first figures. You want to do masterpiece style. You need to do something different, not done yet. Uh, so people will put it on their shelf as kind of a placekeeper until the official comes out, or maybe they just like yours. Or you need to do something like this right here, to where it's kind of you know off the cuff a little bit, you know. Yeah. So uh, this right here, you're going to be able to get it. Uh, I think this is another one that. <laughs> Lil D said he was gonna get. Man, you know I think Lil D's robbed banks on the weekends. Yeah, he's doing something. This looks good. I, I skipped the original version, but this one I at least thought about it this week. I haven't pre-ordered it, but it looks good. I think if I already bought this, I'd be pissed because I think this one's much better. Did uh Big D? Did you get this one? You know he did. Did he? I didn't. I didn't think he did. Uh, I think he said he was gonna get it and loved it, but didn't get it. So a couple people in here, you know, they uh, Star Scream and Lom Medina. He says, you know, they're getting this one right here. I like the colors better than the original yeah, one. Definitely. I just thought it was, you know, it's an interesting mold. It looks really cool looking. I think it would look yeah. cool just sitting on your shelf. All right. Well, these are certainly interesting from uh, KFC. Yeah, see, Big D, uh, <coughs> he did not get the original. Saw too many major problems at their fix. He'll get this one. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, where Big D, he's like, I'm going to get this, but doesn't get it. Where Little D, he pulls through. So uh, he got a KFC doing Masterpiece Scaled uh, Headmaster Triple Changers. It's quite interesting. You know, I never, I, I never had these G ones, Ape Face and Snapdragon. Did oh, they were did, nice, did you guys? I do. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. were nice, very nice. I, I, I like them. them. I didn't get them until my thirties. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> didn't get them until I was old. Yeah, see, these are the these are the two that I never had. Uh, do Do you like the design? I mean, as far as the jet. I think looks good, and I think the robot looks pretty good. But oh, uh, those the triple great. changers, uh, you know, you're gonna like have it. that one mode that's really difficult. And plus, they're doing kind of beast here. So, uh, do you, do you like the way that this dragon looks? It's you know what the best part of the dragon is is the head. You're able to it's tell very the head. One. It's very it's, I mean, yeah, I think they did a good job of making it like it's 1987 up in here. I think they did a terrific yeah. job at, at that. And I think that's what they were shooting for. Like you said, the jet looks spot on. The design oh, cues great. on the jet, th that's all the design cues. I mean, mostly it's the front half of the plane. If you get that right, it, it'll feel like the, the right mold. Even the, the robot bottom. mode. Go with the robot mode. The robot mode is, is, is beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, that's it's cool looking. That's b better than what we got in uh, G1. It looks like you're going to be getting die cast uh, right here. You can even see it in jet mode. So right here where this stuff swings on. So you can have some yeah. uh, die cast there. And it looks like those thighs are die cast as well. Uh, maybe the tips here. I'm not sure on those. But you can definitely tell that's die cast. And I, I believe this is the way that's kind of sitting in the light. I like that. It's really nice. So I, I, I think it's, I mean, it's a pretty dang good job, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, for it looking, you know, trying to bring it from G1 to like masterpiece. Now I never thought that it looked, yeah, you know, the G1 looked great, you know, or looked like it did in the cartoon, you know. 
Or, or, wait, did we get? I didn't know if we saw him transform into a dragon in the cartoon. I'm, I'm not. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, ape face thighs are uh, a little thin. Yeah, especially for that big. I top. guess the, all the all the legs, the entire leg piece is kind of kind of thin there. But man, I love that Damn. shit. I, I love that hot fuchsia pink. Yeah, looks good. Who's putting this out again? KFC. Wow. That's, they really stepped it up on this one. And look at the Guerrero. Yeah. Like, the, man, two out of three on both of these is great. There's that one that one transformation that just doesn't do it for me by me. <clears throat> if I was to get back into the third party, that would be with these two right here. That's some only good stuff right there. What do you think, uh, Promo 7? Because I always thought this one would be hard, too, because of the uh, Guerrero. I can't stop. I, I, I laugh every time I see that. The one company that called that one Beast Guerrero. No, I haven't. I always I love saying that name. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, I... I love that fuchsia hot pink, man. That's one of my favorite colors. I mean, that's even the jet mode. I mean, you gotta admit that's that's like, I mean, that's not that's spot on G one right there. Yeah, yeah. And even take that back portion off and become a shield. So yeah, I like these. I think I think that they're they're really cool looking. They I'm are. glad that somebody's doing them as well. Watch what we say now, because once one starts doing it, they're all going to start doing it. Imagine like five, eight, five, eight faces. Yeah. Of Dakota, Dakota would go in bankruptcy or in so many grills. No, nah, he don't like it because it's G1, though. <laughs> all right, so the uh, Dream Factory Bone Crusher. I believe this is a Dream Factory uh, Shockwave, too, but... Uh, I remember seeing this guy in the very first movie. Did you ever get a Transformer figure from him? Deluxe. It was a deluxe. Yeah, just a small one. Mm -hmm. Well, he was a big dude. He battled Optimus Prime, you know, in yeah, the movie. And all, we and all we got was the deluxe. All right. Well, uh, this looks, uh, from what I can remember, uh, very close to that that movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. He can he's skate got that, right on the road. Yeah, he's got that. Yeah, the the skates, and then he's got that big comb. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it reminded me whenever I saw that, where he had that comb, and he was just kind of, you know, dragging it around the, uh, you know, the road. I thought of spaceballs whenever they had to like comb the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, man, what? The, the younger viewers are going to be like space balls. Wow. Oh my God. Y'all don't know what you're missing. The new kids, they're going to be like, is that a porno? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it would be, right? <laughs> but yeah, this guy oh, transforms. Man. Look at that. I, I think that this is a pretty solid figure. Now, what? It took a decade to come out, but. <laughs> yeah. It took a <laughs> they're like. Ten years, yeah. Sometimes you gotta wait. Patience. You finally got it. Perfection. Yep. Yeah. That now that's just uh that's not final, I'm sure, right? Oh no, I'm sure. Okay. I wonder what uh, kind of detail they're gonna put into it color wise. They're gonna put like it's huge. I mean, are they gonna detail it out pretty well or what? I mean it's nice. I mean it's you know, we never we, we got the deluxe and that was kind of crappy. But I, I think as far as accurate goes and, you know, size, I, I think it's pretty good. Now, uh, Cameron says, Make Toys and Fans Project have previously announced Ape Face. Well, the Fans Project ones are not going to be in that masterpiece scale, but I'm sure that the Make Toys ones will be, so. There we go. I think I do remember uh, them saying, saying that. All right, so Make Toys. Uh, I guess if you don't like the MP11s. Dude, I've already I've started on MP11. I, I'm not change. I'm not changing at this point. I, I'm like full in on it now. Like we're 
devoted oh, to yeah. each other and we're just trying to be done we're with devoted. it. <laughs> <laughs> we're devoted. It's like a marriage almost. I know. It, it, was, it would cost us both way too much to get a divorce at this point. So we're just, <laughs> we're just going to stick it out for the collection. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm okay if we never have to buy Seekers again. You know, I was just, I didn't want to get into that conversation on Seekers, but man, I mean, when is enough enough on Seekers? I mean, the club, <clears throat> you know, just nailed it to death, and then Hasbro's nailed it to death. Now, third party companies are nailed. I mean, I mean sometimes honestly. It's, yeah, I, I think sometimes it's over. Like that new that new Megatron that came out, it's over, right? I mean, you don't need another G one Megatron. If you have that figure, you're okay. You're gonna be all right for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter though. Somebody else will do another Megatron. It's it's you know not, what I mean. Never no, it's, be, there right. should be like a, a almost like a cutoff point. Right, there should be, they, but I mean, they, they, there won't be because someone's gonna think that they can go in there and make a fortune off of it. And I just think it's it's overkill on some of these things. Yeah, and we've we've discussed it on on other shows, you know, about yeah. Springers. Even on the Joe Callick podcast, we talked about how much third party is just ridiculous on what they were doing. I mean, one does it, but everybody least, and their brother least, does it. Yeah, at least Springer's not out yet, though. You know what I mean? Like these things have been out, and we've had them in our hands for years now. I feel like I was a de- it was a decade ago. So. But I mean, on the Springer, but you got to think in the long run. Somebody's going to get the shaft. Someone's not going to sell their spring. There's just there's yeah. five, six of them to choose from. Too many options, I think. But that but that's just me. I guess I'm old school. No, I'm okay with like two or three. I think oh. there's five springers, right? Five springers, and none I of think, them are out, or one of them is out. That's it. Uh, let's see. Um, where's this? Uh, Star Scream says still waiting on uh, for a company to commit to the. Masterpiece Fembots. I'd love an IDW, IDW right. RC, Windblade, Elite One, Minerva. Minerva, that is one that. Yeah. That's what everyone uh, wants. Dude, I mean, Everybody if wants they, it. If they don't do a Minerva somehow in the Titans Returns line. I agree. I don't uh, care if it's I, e-hobby. I, I'm, I'm looking like at some retooling of the blur, maybe. Everybody wants it. I mean, we've been talking about that since the first when bl- when Blur was shown. We started talking about that. I mean, everyone I've talked to wants Minerva. So, and even if it's e hobby, sixty bucks e hobby, I'm all right with that. Fifty nine ninety nine, give it to me. The only Minerva we gotten was the uh, custom class back in uh, two thousand and eleven, yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, but if you beautiful. want, but hey, if you want to drop four hundred seventy five, the uh, Transformer Club has that up for sale. No, I've already I got that one. All right. She's this is the the make it. toys. Uh Sportum is still waiting on a proper sunstreaker. Yeah. Uh that that all has to do with uh getting a license to vehicle you Come know, right. uh modifying a Lamborghini. Same thing with Porsche with Clip Jumper. <laughs> camera breaks it down it goes springers unique toys out fans toys open play and toy world they're in color ocular max and prototype and x trans bots rendered oh yeah if they, well if they do a minerva yes i would like you know uh a cab and a shooter but uh if they don't i'm still buying <clears throat> Uh, I this one doesn't appeal to me from May Toys. I just I haven't pre-ordered just get the it. The car one, you pre-ordered I still it? Like it? No, I haven't, but I I probably will. I just like Make Toys. I like their plastic. I like their engineering. I still haven't found a. Uh, a I'm waiting for them to restock Genrai. For a hundred dollars, not no one fifty or whatever. Oh yeah, some companies are <clears throat> trying to do so. Okay, so this is the the, the black version. So, or I guess he will be when he gets painted. All 
All right, and your updated colors for fans hobby. Is this another one little D's gonna get? You guys there? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> This is one of the ones I, I don't need. I'm okay. I like when I can say that. Feels good. Awesome. Well, you get that. Then uh, you go pick up this. This is also for fans hobby. So get yourself the trailer. And they show that there's even a connection thing that's going to come with it to where you can connect it to uh mp10 why you would need it to connect to mp10 because optimus is going to trade in his trailer for a tanker i don't know but they wanted to give you that option Oh, looks like you're going to get some. Uh, oh, it's going to come with a new head, too. Okay. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's got some cool play value. I like the little rockets launching out of the little bays on his shoulder. Little boobs. Or, yeah, shoulders. <laughs> or. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked them on the MP11s. So. Right. Well, uh, he's probably going to get this is Galaxy Starscream. Uh, this is by Make Toys. I remember when they did this, uh, was it Platinum Edition or whatever of that thing? The oh, yeah, the Toys R Us. Yeah, man, that, dude, that thing just sat on the shelf. Yeah, they ended up, I mean, there were some that got Clarence out like 25 bucks or under, I think. It was a cool figure for its time. Are we stuck? I don't know. Okay, I was wondering. I I hear no one else say anything, and then and then you didn't say anything. I'm like, well, what the hell's going on? Must be stuck. Why did I think of? Oh no, he dropped off. <laughs> um, well, everybody, this is what happens in live entertainment. Crap happens. <laughs> All the time. It has happened to me a couple of times, actually, on the Joe show. And for y'all, let me go ahead and plug my show since he's not here right now. You catch me next week on Autobot City Toys YouTube channel for just another G.I. Joe podcast. Uh, we will be talking about everything G.I. Joe related. Getting close to Joe Con, we're less than 60 days to go. Very true. Are you excited, Rick, for your first Joe Con? I I am extremely excited. Oh, this is, oh my God, what happened? Here? You know, I wonder if there's storms down. Like, if we got some bad storms he, coming up. Did he just yeah, message you? He, oh. No, he mentioned it earlier. Um, let me see real quick here. Um, I don't know if it was down in, where was that? In his area. I know in my area, it's starting to come up. It's in Tyler. 
Yeah. I'm not sure if I see it. Yeah, but I know we were. I know here in Arkansas, we're, we're fixing to get it here a little bit ourselves. Well, just. Well, in, I guess. In the show and regroup. No, because we're actually still live right now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, technically, I I can't control it from my end because yeah. it's all on his end, which is surprising that it did not drop him or drop it all, to be honest with you, when, uh, he, hung, when he went out because he's the one, in, you know, we might be live yeah. on our own. He might send another invite. Let me see what YouTube's doing when I go on there. Yeah, live. We're, me and you are still live. Yeah, why don't we uh, end it? Hold on, hold on a second. Go to uh, uh, part two you just put up. Yeah, go to your notifications on Twitter. All right, I'm going to exit out of here. I'll be back. All right, bye.